First, a shout out to Liz Braun. You go, girl, half marathon. <laughs> Jenny Zola. Jenny's been a two-sport athlete at Swarthmore all four years. Just to be an athlete at Swarthmore can be a challenging thing. Um, to excel at two sports is even incredible. To do that, being an engineering major and an econ minor, um, Jenny, you go, girl. Jenny's on the basketball court, very impactful player for four years. She's a 5'9", she's undersized post player, um, always got beat up, a little tough on that. She's a guard, not a very good ball handler. <laughs> but... <laughs> Sorry, Jenny. <laughs> amazing, amazing three-point shooter, very exciting. Uh, so much fun and excitement to watch on the basketball court. Well done, Jenny. Well done. Good evening. First, I'd like to congratulate all the finalists for this award. Um, I've actually, you know, been, been away from the gym for a little while. I just had a baby recently. So I spent the last few days reflecting on the four years of our current senior class and, and Jenny and thinking of memories and my reflections and what was appropriate to share tonight and what may not be appropriate. So, um, But the, the first thing that comes to my mind is the long list of accomplishment that, accomplishments that Jenny's had over her volleyball career. Um, she is the first player to be named All-Region. She's the first volleyball player to be named First Team All-Conference, which she's done three years in a row. She's the first player to score 1,000 kills as a junior, as well as score 1,000 digs as a junior. She holds career records for kills. She's second in digs, fourth all-time for service aces. She's been team MVP, team captain, as well as academic uh, Philadelphia Inquirer academic all-area team. She's also a um, COSAD academic all-district team member, three-time Centennial Academic Honor Roll, and as Coach Devarney said, she's a double major in engineering and economics. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Um, for me, in particular, it is such a joy to watch Jenny play volleyball. If anyone's ever been in a volleyball match in the last four years, it's not just Jenny, it's the whole senior class, but um, they just have this passion about the sport. And I like to call my, little, my group of junkies. You know, we have a team of junkies. They want to play volleyball. They still, and Jenny's one of them, before our match, we're always early. So they're playing a little game. I don't even know what the score was, but all season long, up until well, I don't know, what we were played into November, they are playing this little mini game before warm-ups. I'm like, guys, we have an hour warm-up, and then we have a match to play, like, you know, can we kind of, like, take it easy? But no, they want to be on the court all the time. But some of my most vivid memories are, and she's going to kill me for this, recruiting Jenny. I went out to Southern California to see her play, and um, I'm the type of coach that likes to hide out in the gym. It's not always easy for me, being as tall as I am, but I'm sitting in the corner watching her play, waiting to see Jenny hit the ball over the net. Waiting to see Jenny hit the ball over the net. I think it was, might have been the worst match she played that entire tournament, and her parents and I still don't let her live this down, because she's like, I can't believe you saw me play, and you still want to recruit me after that experience. But it really goes back to the passion and enthusiasm she has for the sport. Um, I have so many other memories that come to mind, and it's not so much about when she kills a ball, which is what every, a lot of people know her for, how aggressive she's attacking, but she's a phenomenal defender. Um, when we upset Haverford in the conference playoffs two years ago, Jenny came up with this unbelievable dig that she had no business getting. And I know she was sick as a dog too, but I remember sitting there being like, wow, that was a great dig. And then this year when she broke the school uh, career kill record, we were at this tournament in New York, and we're keeping track on the bench. Our manager, my assistants, we're all keeping track. When is she going to get it? When is she going to get it? Because Mark and Jerry wanted to clip for the website. And so we're filming. And, and when does she get it? She like goes up to take this huge, giant swing and like miss hits the ball. But she gets the kill. And that's, that's the way our sport is. So, you know, those are the things that I'll remember that as sitting on the sideline watching, you know, um, just her energy and enthusiasm. And I'm going to end with this. Well, I'll just also say that our program has gone from a freshman year 
where Jenny and her classmates, we were 6 and 19, and we finished this last year 24 and 8. And that's a pretty impressive turnaround in four years. And to make three consecutive playoff trips, and none of that would have happened without Jenny and her work ethic and getting better and better. She's a talented player when she got here, and she's even more so, and learned so much and matured over four years. And I'll just end. Every year when our freshmen come to campus to preseason, they all get a book over the summer called Get With the Girls, Life is Competition. It's written by a volleyball coach. You know, you're all Swarthmore students and athletes, kind of combines the two. And it, um, it's a, the message about, you know, what it's like to compete and the life lessons you get from that. Um, and one thing that I've always taken away every time I've read the book is a quote. And probably many of you know this. In this world of give and take, there are few that are willing to give what it takes. Well, Jenny's given what it takes, and she's reaped a lot of benefits, and her classmates have too. So thank you, Jenny. You want to come on up and get your award?